Adam Vinatieri joins us here on Super Bowl Row. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure to be here. Uh, Adam's still kicking in the NFL for the Indianapolis Colts, but 11 years ago at the Super Bowl, uh, he was kicking for the New England Patriots. Uh, take us back. It's Brady's got a drive going against the St. Louis Rams in the waiting moments of that ball game, and you're on the sideline. You know what's coming. What are you thinking at that point? Well, you know, it was, it was an interesting game. We, we took a lead. They came back and tied it up with a minute and a half left. And, you know, the momentum really changed in that game, and we knew that we had to uh, end this game hopefully before we went into overtime and let our fate of the, of the game come down to a coin toss. So we just, uh, we just went out there and, and, you know, Brady put a great drive together like he did all season long and having the opportunity to go out there and put the icing on the cake, uh, a 48-yard field goal to win it with no time left was, was really a dream come true. That's what us young kids always dream about growing up, having the opportunity to, to either kick a game winner or shoot the last three-point, you know, whatever in yeah, basketball, yeah. whatever it is. So for me, it was, it was, an, it was an awesome opportunity, and it, and it really worked out well. Coaches are always trying to play mind games with kickers. Icing them, you know, you get the timeouts now right before the snap of the football, all that stuff. Did it ever bother you when they did that? You know, I, I don't think that really makes a very big difference. I've talked to a handful of, of my buddies in the league, kickers in the league, and, and it doesn't seem to really bother them. I've seen it backfire numerous times where, you know, uh, it's a missed kick and all of a sudden they get a second chance. Three and, weeks and ago, Matt Bryant for the Falcons, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So I don't know if uh, coaches are reconsidering doing that now, if they're ever going to change the rules on it and not allow that. But as long as they're doing it, you know, as, as a kicker, you have to go out there, prepare like they're not going to call the timeout. And if they do, regroup, refocus in, and, and make the next one too. So I don't know uh, statistically if it makes a difference, but I have seen a couple of times where it's backfired. In that moment, especially the one 11 years ago here, were you nervous? I mean, what, what, what are you feeling at that moment? You know, it was one of those. Uh, I mean, you make a, a kick to win the Super Bowl, <laughs> for goodness sakes. It's something I've dreamt about all my, all my career going into that point. And, and when I stepped out on the field, I knew it was in my, my realm of, of possible kicks. 48 yards, you, you got enough distance to make that every single day, Adam. Go out there and put it between the posts. And, and for me, when it, when it, you know, I remember the snap and the hold and, and the kick as it left my foot. I, I just remember as I'm following through and still looking down, I'm thinking, gosh, that felt really good. And as I looked up and saw it going down the middle of the uprights, it was just sheer excitement at that point. You know, lots of hard work all season long coming to a, to a final end at that, at that moment. And um, it's hard to explain to, to people that have never been in that situation of what that feeling's like and all the hard work throughout your career from a little boy to that moment. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it was awesome. It was one of those, one of, it's, hard to, it's hard to emulate. Are these kickers better, stronger now than they were even 11 years ago? Um, I think I think the the days back back in the old time days when kickers were just not really I hate to say it but not as much of an athlete they right, were just yeah. very specific to just kicking um, I, I see around the league and, and myself included we're in the weight room lifting running doing all the same stuff that everybody else does I really think that you've got a lot of really exceptional athletes not just punters and kickers out there anymore but real athletes and uh, some of those guys I mean you you watch them playing a pickup game of basketball or on the golf course, they're as good of, a, good of athletes as anybody else on the team. So, and you feel a part of the team, right? I mean, there was that old saying that, you know, there were the, there were the football players right. and then the kickers, right? I think, I think that stigma has kind of disappeared. I think a lot of people understand the value of a good kicker and, and how much a good kicker can make a difference right. in the outcome of the game. So um, I don't know how it is in the other 31 mm -hmm. teams, but they've always respected me and treated yeah. me well. And, and, uh, and I think that's because, like I said, they see you in the weight room, they see you out on the field, they know you care as much as they do on the outcome of the game, so they respect that. How should the Hall of Fame handle kickers? I mean, you're, you've been mentioned because of what you did in two Super Bowls. You've been mentioned as a guy who might might get there someday. How should the Hall handle kickers? Well, I'm a little bit discouraged in, in, okay. in, in that. Not for me per particularly, but, but I look at guys like Gary Anderson, Morton Anderson. They've played 20-plus years. They've got – you know, both of those guys collectively have 2,500 points. If, if you can play in the National Football League for 25 years and, and put up the stats that they've done, it's hard not to at least get considered for that. I know that there's a lot of great positions out there and players out there, but I don't, I'm, I'm not sure that the Hall needs another offensive lineman or another cornerback. 
there's a couple of great kickers that definitely deserve to be in there, and hopefully they get their, their due respect at some point. You're here this week for Barkley Card. Tell us what you're doing. Yeah, uh, they've got a great program going on. It's the NFL Extra Point credit card issued by Barclay Card. They're, they're handing all these, uh, these neat little masks around to, to the fans out there, mm-hmm. and fans who wear this card throughout the week we're going to have a crew of people that are going to go around later on tomorrow. We're going to we're going to find uh, a lucky a lucky winner that gets to uh, go get two two tickets to the Super Bowl. Two tickets just for wearing the card. That's and big bucks it. right there, baby. Absolutely, absolutely. And then later on tomorrow evening, we, yeah. we're also going to do a little kicking thing, uh, and uh, there's going to be a, a donation of a, of a million points, which comes out to be ten thousand cash value to the Drew Brees Foundation for for our for his kicking charity. So, it's going to be a great it's going to be a lot of fun for me. It's going to be great for the fans. Somebody's going to get two tickets to the game and, and have a great time at the game. So, I'm really looking forward to to doing that. 11 years ago was a great memory, wasn't it? It sure was. It sure Thanks, was. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. My Thank pleasure. you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.